Hello everyone and thanks so much for joining me today for my July plan with me video. If you haven't been to my channel before, my name is Sarah and we talk about all things from style to bullet journaling to books and general slice of life content on this channel. Thanks so much for joining and please subscribe. So today what I'm doing is setting up my July spread. Uh, July is my birthday month, so I wanted to do kind of a bright, fun, tropical theme here. So I've got some hibiscus flowers we're going to bring in. I'm going to bring in some bright colors, uh, pink and orange. Um, and one thing I definitely did want to do here was keep it very slim. So usually I do a two page spread for my monthly. But as you can see here, this month I did just one. Uh, I am getting to the end of this notebook, which I got for, uh, I think the beginning of 2019. So I don't really wanna start a brand new one in the middle of the year. So I'm hoping to just kind of draw it out as much as I can. So I'm just gonna keep my monthly pages to a single page going forward and probably getting my weeks to be two weeks per two page spread. So I'm just going ahead and writing the days of the week in here, and then I'm going to add these colorful little circles that will fill in with the actual number days of the week. Um, I didn't love this first orange color I picked, so I found one that was a little more bold. But again, we're bringing in that uh, orange and purple color, and we'll go ahead and number the whole calendar. Uh, if you've watched my bullet journaling videos before, you know that I am notorious for getting the numbers completely wrong or the days of the week completely wrong whenever I set this up. But I think I actually got it okay this time, so hooray! <laughs> um, so I'm doing like a little faux gradient on the, uh, the header here up top with that purple and orange giving it a little bit of overlap between the two colors. Um, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little colorblind. And by a little, I mean I am solidly red-green colorblind. So I don't really know what color that is, but it looks okay. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and ink out this hibiscus flower and give that another of those cute uh, purple and orange gradients. I actually really love how the flower turned out, although I am a little bit yeah, about the gradient in the header. And then down here I'm going to do my future log, which is where I'm putting all of my future plans that I get to look forward to. Um, yeah, so this left side felt a little bit lonely, so it's like, oh, what else is fun and tropical that I can use these colors for? Tropical drink, that works. That's one of my favorite things, especially in summertime. So we brought in like a little, uh, I don't know, Mai Tai glass or something. And once again, we're playing with those same bright colors to make it feel exciting and fun and tropical. Um, and I added two little motion lines because obviously this glass is doing a little dance. Um, it was feeling a little static though, so I went in with a little bit of a darker purple and added some depth to that flower and the gradient and a little shadow on the bottom of the glass. And I think it added just a little something. Um, as you can see, I did get a little bit of shadowing from the markers on the other page that bled into my weekly spread, but because it wasn't a full bleed, I wasn't super worried about it. Um, if it was a problem, then I'd probably just go ahead and uh, tape these two pages together so that way we wouldn't see it as much. But I'm hoping that once I fill out this page, it's just barely noticeable. Um, so this is a classic, like, single page weekly spread that I have done throughout my bullet journal um, many, many times. I have a column on the left side going down that I put the day of the week, and then I have all my plans in those different days, um, and I can fit a full week into this page. And it also leaves a good room or a good space on the left side where you can add additional notes. That's where I usually do things like meal planning for the week, if I want to do a little doodle. As you can see up here, I am putting um, another July heading. And down at the bottom, of course, we needed another one of those fun hibiscus flowers. 
Um, so I think actually what I ended up doing on here was meal planning for the week because we needed to figure out what we were doing when we went shopping because I'm trying not to go to the store too much right now. Now something weird happened. You'll see when I flip back, um, for some reason, the same colors and the same markers completely bled through. Yeah, between these two pages. And I don't know why it didn't do it with the first hibiscus flower. Um, maybe I just went over it while the marker was still wet. I don't know. Um, but I did get a little bit of that bleed there. So now we're going to go ahead and pull out some stamps for my weekly page. I want to have a mini calendar on every page here that'll look super cute. Um, unfortunately, you will see this is that moment of every month that I mess up. <laughs> um, so obviously the days of the week are not accurate right there. But I just went in later and pasted a little piece of my bullet journal paper right on top and that fixed the problem. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed.